A new exhibit that combines painting, collage, and a healthy dose of pop culture references is now up and open to the public at Gulf Coast State College in Panama City. News 13's Ethan Logue is live at the college this morning and joins us now to tell us more about the gallery that's on display and when it's available to be seen. Good morning, Ethan. Hey, good morning, guys, and this is a really unique exhibit they have on display here at Gulf Coast State College on the Panama City campus. It opened last Friday, but you still have about a month to come in and check it out, so there's plenty of opportunities to check all this cool artwork out. So we're going to dive into it again a little bit more. I'm going to be joined once again by Pavel Amronin, again, professor with the Visual and Performing Arts Division here at the college. So, Pavel, I think it's important to mention once again for people who may have missed this a little earlier this morning, when you'll be open this next month. Yes, of course. We are open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 6, and on Fridays, 10 to 4, and the show runs through April 5th. All, right, so all the way up until April 5th. People yeah. have plenty of time to come in and check it out. And we're going to touch on again maybe what the theme or I guess really the name of this exhibit is because it's quite unique and interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Inconceivable, and it's again, it's like a notion of a combined history mm -hmm. and how our present is based on our combined history and how oftentimes uh, we make up that history. So if you guys, the exhibit you're looking at right now, or the piece you're looking at right now, it has all kinds of stuff. It has a mirror, so that's kind of a reflection, looking mm -hmm. at yourself and maybe finding something else. But also, it's on the green screen, right? So on the green screen, you can project anything on the mm -hmm. green screen, right? So you can make up any kind of story. We can do the weather, like I was telling you <laughs> earlier. Um, so again, so how do you invent the history, and what does that invention tell us about us today? Very well said. It's very thought-provoking and yes. unique. Now, talk to me about why kind of the Visual and Performing Arts Division kind of hosts different exhibits and galleries throughout the year, because you kind of rotate through different things that people can come in and see. It's not just the same thing year round. Yeah, of course. We, you know, we're educational facilities, so our primary goal is to kind of expose the public to different thoughts, to different kinds of art. And yeah, we do have a lot of different exhibits over the course of the year, and they include a lot of different media, but also a lot of subject matter. Mm -hmm. And again, we're trying to hit the broad, broad scope. So. Uh, it's interesting to everybody. So you can come see one exhibit and maybe that's not your cup of tea, but then at the next exhibit you come and, oh my God, this is what I was looking for. So you always have a little bit of something for everyone, something new and different, kind of yeah. depending on the month. I like yeah. that. Now, yeah. there's a lot of work that you know you guys do with the Visual and Performing Arts Chair that we have here at the college that's different and unique. You're doing some stuff this week, too, that's open to the public. Yes, actually tomorrow at 6 o'clock we have our additions. So this mm -hmm. is additions for uh, incoming students. There's scholarship additions. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not, so this is the gallery, so this is visual art, but we also have theater, we have music, and we have entertainment tech. Mm -hmm. And all of those departments are going to hold additions to offer scholarships for incoming students. And if you guys are interested, please visit uh, www.gulfcoast.edu forward slash art to get the information or the stuff that you need to come in for the audition tomorrow. Come in and audition or you can come in and check out all the great work that's on display with this exhibit. Of course, as your Pavel mentioned, it's open Monday through Fridays up until April 5th. So plenty of time to come in and check out all the unique and thought provoking work that's on display. Guys, 